Hello everyone and now welcome to game 4 in a series between Sage and Welmu. Sage having a 2 to 1 lead in this series. Welmu, obviously if you guys need me to tell you how he's doing, um, you guys don't watch a lot of professional anything. As you can tell, he's down 1 to 2. Alright, this is Cloud Kingdom. <laughs> Excuse me. As I'm feeling a little strange, I play I play so bad according to Wellmu. So Wellmu apparently, and even noting that he was playing a little bit bad there, uh, yeah, I don't really like Phoenixes early on unless you're going to be trying to shut down Sentries. Um, the reason why Sentries are very expensive unit, very gas intensive, and there's not much they can really do to fight back early on. Two Phoenixes versus two Sentries, the Phoenixes will win every time, and it really it really limits what the other Protoss player can do because they no longer have that spellcaster confidence in order to defend anything. Now, let's come back here. Over here on the bottom left, Sage is spawning as the blue Protoss player. Meanwhile, Welmu spawning on the top right as the red Protoss player. And a good dialogue between these two players. If you often wonder about how your Protoss versus Protoss went, Welmu saying that he was being a little bit too greedy and not, perhaps not realizing what he needed to do next. Alright, Sage is making his way down with this probe. Not quite sure what that probe was doing. Um, perhaps mining some resources and now going to be coming back in over here. That was a strange place to pick up five minerals as the probe still wandering around is yep gonna finally join back in in the main mineral line in the main base all right high ground pylon here by Wellmu. i like the positioning of this pylon um, especially here on cloud kingdom as it allows a protoss player to reinforce their natural but they're not really in danger of losing this pylon until an observer or a colossus is out the stalkers as they come up this ramp here still won't have sight over here so it's not like one zealot getting here will allow stalkers from the low ground to shoot up and take down that pylon all right second assimilator now warping in once more and gateways cybernetic core now coming in we can see Wellmu getting up a second gateway and also getting up his assimilator his assimilator now coming in a little bit faster and with the additional gateways, I would assume that we're going to see, um, was it two probes on gas? Each, uh, perhaps, um, two gate stalker to open up. So far, we also have three and two here. So Sage getting in just a little bit more gas um, per minute here as we are seeing the probes just dance back and forth. All right, stalkers, warp gate tech. We are going into another pylon back here. So far, no real indication of what the other buildings will be or what the strategies are and where we will be going and how this will all be unfolding all right double stalkers now being trained pylon is up two more stalkers being trained at a time meanwhile sage is only training up one stalker at a time and also is going into that twilight council is he going to be training double stalkers and this could be bad news for well or sorry for sage as sage now okay now going into double stalkers but he is a little bit behind and he will be even further behind because he doesn't have nearly as much gas all right wellmu being very careful to warp in pylons as he moves warp gate tech is about to be completed um, he has enough time to perhaps warp in another set of stalkers or is he going to wait for the warp gate tech? It looks like he's waiting for the warp gate tech. Now chrono boosting that out as two stalkers are now on the move. One probe perhaps going to be doing a little bit of scouting. Two stalkers are already out of third gateway now coming in for Sage. And is Sage going to have enough units to fend off this attack with Blink is going to be the key question. As Wellmu already has three stalkers in position and now trying to push away that last probe. The probe does get taken down. Here you go, stalker engagement and three stalkers to two. And you really come out ahead here. Wellmu now in a bit of trouble here. Does end up losing, but now there's four to one. And wow, Sage is completely in trouble. Um, what was happening? What happened there? As the, now the stalkers will be trying to come in. Stalkers are going to engage the four stalkers against the two. Sage losing one stalker without lo really dealing any damage. And Wellmu was not greedy in this game at all. And it looks like he's going to take it very easily, simply walking in with four stalkers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game two in the series or sorry game four in the series evening up the series at two games apiece stay tuned for game five